What's up, Cancer? Hey, Cancer. It's been a minute. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to be your collective reading. This will be for Cancer placements. So wherever you guys have Cancer in your charts. All right, do keep in mind that this is general and that it may or may not resonate with all of you Cancers out there. So please do only take what resonates. Never force it to fit, my loves, okay? So, um, really quick, before we hop in, um, we're going to look into your person's um, energy. Let's see what they're all about. We're going to look into the recent past and the present energy. All right, I will add in some love oracles and we'll end it with a spirit message as well. All right, so let's see what's going on with my cancers. Universe and spirit, please guide me through this reading for cancer. What do they need to know in here at this time? Cancer. Sorry, cancer. I have another shirt on under here and it was like annoying me. All right, let's see. Cancer. So we have the Knight of Cups, the Star in Reverse, and we have the Sun in Reverse. Okay. So it looks like somebody's ready to apologize, make up to you. Um, this person is down, feeling sad, feeling lost. Okay. Could be a Leo, could be an Aquarius, or could be a Scorpio. With that knight of cups here okay so with the sun in reverse and the star in reverse somebody definitely is sad they're depressed okay um they want to apologize to you they're ready to apologize this is what it looks like this is what this person is currently all about okay so let's see Star me verse. Star me verse. Star me verse. Why is the star me verse? The star me verse. We have the Empress in reverse. Okay, so Libra towards energy, but. No, Cancer. I don't like this Empress in reverse. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. All this major Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay. So, it looks like you guys both could have said some hurtful things to each other. Things that you guys didn't mean. This could have been something that was repeated. Alright? Somebody also has, like, some type of mother issues, too. So, the person you're dealing with, they have, like, mom issues, mother issues, or, like, issues with, like, the mother um, of their child. Okay? They have, like, a lot of, like, issues that they need to resolve and heal and part of the, the way they treat you or the things they say is because of what they went through with like a mother figure or like the mother aunt a grandmother the mother their child something like that um and they're ready to apologize to you for it or about it now this part won't resonate with everybody but somebody's going to be upset when they find out that a child is not theirs something like that or maybe they always like thought this or believed it or something like that but let's see why the sun is in reverse. Why is the sun in reverse? We have the death card in reverse. See? So something from their past keeps coming back around. That's making them very sad and depressed. And it's like they're taking their anger and frustration out on you guys. Let's see. You have three of wands. It's kind of stopping them from moving forward. But they're ready to move on and move past this energy. So you guys, like I said, your person is dealing with like a lot of hurt and anger that they have towards like an ex, like the mother of their child, or like they have like mother issues, could be father issues, but we have the embrace in reverse. And as I was pulling, this looks like something that happened in their in the past, like something that happened years ago, something that has been living with them that they have um been dealing with. And it's like they don't want to treat you guys this way. They don't want to keep putting you guys through this or treating you guys this way or talking to you guys like this. But then I also feel like cancer. I'm not saying you feed into it, but I see when they say certain things and do certain things, you like get back with them. So I don't know if that's why they just feel some type of way. We have the five of swords. Yeah. So yeah, this has been very challenging for them. The higher fine reverse. Mm, a lot of majors in reverse. Let me see the deck upright. Okay, it's in the right. Okay, so I'm just making sure the message is a message, but definitely need to, you know, to get through this lesson. Like, they're going through a lot. It has affected a lot of their relationships, even if they're not, like, romantic. It has just affected relationships, you know, with, like, 
females or other people in their life, co-workers, maybe people that they were trying to date or get to know. So yeah, this person just has a lot going on in Cancer, okay? Okay, so let's see. So I don't know if they revealed this to you guys, but for some of you guys, um, it looks like they're ready to apologize and reveal something to you that they've never told anyone else. You know, some of you guys may know, all right, about this. So let's see. It said it takes time to heal. Can't heal overnight. All right, fam. You guys want to put cards on the ground. So it does take time to heal. And it looks like this person has been trying to heal or has been wanting to heal, but it's just been hard. Okay, they know they need to do the work. I don't know if y'all heard me. Y'all know I don't take cards on the ground. Unless you're new watching. I don't take cards on the ground. Let's see. We have faking like I'm doing great. Okay? Not wanting to show their true self. So somebody could just be faking it. Like just making it seem like, you know, like they're happy. They're in a good mood. Like they're living life and they're really not. You know, this person is really not. Let's see. We have separation breakup. Told you this caused a separation or a breakup between you guys. And then we have distractions, facade, mask, drinking, smoking, drowning in their lives. So this person could just, maybe they're tired of drowning in their lives, but this person is just distracted. They, you know, they're wearing a mask, okay? They could be using um, drugs and alcohol to help them get through this, or maybe they do drink or smoke a lot, or just been dealing with a lot of issues or other things. But um, yeah, it looks like this person has a lot, a lot going on, y'all. Um, so let's see. That's what they're all about. Let's see what's going on in the recent past between you guys. We'll see tension, drama, fights, arguments, nine of cups, somebody pretending to be happy, by a page of swords. So, yeah, this will make sense with the cards over here. Somebody definitely, you know, is acting as if they're happy, happy for you, things that are going on in your life and stuff like that. And I just feel like they're really not. Okay, let's go into this five of wands, though. There could be outside influences and other people around them. Um, let's see. Why is the Five of Wands here for Cancer? Five of Wands for Cancer. We have the Five of Pentacles coming from a broken place. So this person is just reacting off of, you know, just the things they went through. They just feel like life isn't fair. We have the, the Star Universe. They're like, for some of you guys, I mean, this is sad to say, but they're like, why was that person chosen to be my mother, the mother of my child, something like that. You know, like this person is like really feeling it, like really feeling bad. But again, and, and I see the apology. I feel like they tried to apologize or make things right in the recent past with you guys but and i feel like you guys were happy and fine for a little bit but then it went right back to the same old energy going to the nine of cups with this nine of cups why is this here recent past three of pentacles yeah willing to work on the relationship for towards the universe willing to talk to them okay so for some of you guys um ten of cups reverse yep yeah. so some of you guys do know what's going on you guys had a long talk about you know, like their life and what they went through, stuff they experienced or something they went through in a past relationship. But um, you also see how it has affected this relationship. It's like you guys are really trying. Um, and some of you guys are just trying your best to make this person happier. It's like you're willing to do whatever to make this person happy, but still all these issues and problems going on. Why is the Ten of Cups reverse? The shame card. Yeah, they, they really are fighting to overcome what they experienced and what they went through. We have the Eight of Cups, so they try to walk away from it every day or as much as they can. You know, the Eight of Cups is a card of emotion and feelings. The Eight of Cups is also a card of, like, self-discovery, you know, um, trying to figure out what's next, who am I, why am I going through this kind of energy, you know, why am I dealing with this, the King of Wands reverse. Mm, so not being their real and true authentic self, not walking in their true path, not walking in their truth. So you guys are dealing with somebody that is pretending to be somebody that they're not. So, for some of you guys, if this person is verbally, physically abusive or seeing certain things or acting a certain way, that's not how, that's not who they really are. But they come off like this because of the pain that they have endured, just all the things they're going through. No, it's not an excuse, but of course, I'm just telling you what I see. Um, the King of Wands reverse sometimes can be somebody controlling, manipulative, abusive, but also somebody not being their real and true authentic self, not really walking in their truth, okay? Um... So let's see why this page of swords is here. Go to the page of swords. Why the page of swords here? Two of wands. Let's see. Six of swords. So they have a spirit guide or somebody around them trying to help and guide them, trying to, 
you know, put them on the right path. But you know, when it comes to a spirit guide, they they can help us show us signs, synchronicity, colors, numbers, stuff like that. But we got to do the work. Yeah, judgment is here. The sun. So they have somebody that they were really close to or somebody that they really did care for or love that has passed over that is watching them, that is trying to help them and guide them. Yeah, they do. I don't know if they believe in, you know, spirituality or spiritual things, spirit guides, ancestors, and all that type of stuff. But they do have somebody that is watching over them and guiding them and helping them. And for some of you guys, this person could have been, like, adopted or uh, maybe a family member took it over. And it's like the person that is guiding them, for some of you guys, that's, if this part resonates with your person, it is, like, really hurting them because they thought that they can trust this person to take over. And this person did, like, abandon, neglect, did certain things to them. And so now they're trying to help shift them out of this energy and help and guide them, you know, in, to get out of this energy. Okay? So this person, the person y'all are dealing with has been through a lot. Okay? With family, friends, lovers, a lot. So it's... They've been through a lot, Cancer. Okay? Um, let's see what's going on in the present energy. We have a high priestess. You guys can be dealing with the Pisces. We have the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Some of you guys can sense and feel that this person is coming towards you guys. Okay? With the high priestess. Um, but this is this person connecting to you in their, I mean, in your dream. You know? Or some of you guys are just, like, very gifted, spiritual, like you already know. Um, that they're coming towards you guys. But let me see, why is this high priestess here? The high priestess also is somebody that is very secretive. They move in silence. So this can be that you guys aren't talking. I see the separation card. And this person is, you know, trying to stand on business and take care of stuff. The Ten of Wands, trying to release burdens. The Six of Pentacles, trying to get their money up, trying to get their life together, trying to become more stable. King of Pentacles. Um, Seven of Cups reverse. So they're finally making that decision to seek and get help. Um, because they want something that's more stable. They want a, a more stable life. They want something that's better for them. They had an epiphany. Why is the Knight of um, Wands here? Four of Pentacles in reverse. Breaking old ways, habits, letting go. Um, uh, people, places, and things. Shedding the old so that the new can come in. The moon is reverse. Coming out of fear. Releasing fears. Queen of Pentacles. Um, let's see. The Knight of Pentacles. They have some type of opportunity coming in for them as well. Pay the wands reverse. This person didn't believe in them, in themselves, their ideas. This person is very creative. They have a lot of potential and they didn't believe in it. And now they're starting to believe in their ideas, their gifts, certain things that they weren't before. This can also be just your reading, Cancer, and I'm just picking up on your energy and not your person's. So it can be interchangeable. Let's see why the Knight of Pentacles is here. Page of Pentacles reverse. So unhealthy lifestyle, missed opportunities. Yep, and it's due to other people outside influences like i said so they also let other people affect them or influence them high priestess in reverse see and it's like the one person that was there and had their back that was trying to help and support them was you but they were going towards the people that were like no good for them and they now see that they now see that those people weren't good for them and they are trying to come back and apologize even if um i feel like this person is in a place like even if you don't want them back like they just want to apologize to you for everything they did. Like, they want you to hear them out. They want you to, you know, be open to accepting their apology and forgiving them. Yeah, because, look, we got the devil. They know they did wrong. They know they, you know, did some shit. We got the devil, Capricorn, energy, page of swords, the hangman, the six of wands, waiting for their time, their day, ready to get victory. It's going to be hard for them to cut out the other people. But they already know that if they don't cut these other people off, that they're never going to move forward and have the things that they want. They have the Nine of Cups here. Finally living their life. This is material happiness. You know, self-love, stuff like that. So, 24 is going to be a year for them to reflect, release, surrender, let go. Okay? So, if you decide to stay with this person, there may be a lot of ups and downs because they're evolving. They're growing. And sometimes when people evolve and grow, we have to learn and get to know the new version of them. Are they just tend to go through things that we just don't understand because we're not them or we're not like even if you guys were trauma bonding and had the same experience, it's like you guys feel things totally different. Okay, and that's what this person is going through. Okay, so let's see what this is about. 
Okay. So we have follower. See, somebody was a follower. All right, your influence is invisible. To focus on others, see. So they were following other people. We have thirsty. You're just being thirsty, lying, cheating. Somebody needing validation, fishing for comments, desperate, corny, too eager. You know, liking the center of attention, all that type of stuff. We have sipping tea. So careful who you listen to. Yeah, I feel like you guys warn them about all of that. Like care, careful who you listen to. You know, um, that person is not your friend. They don't care about you. But I don't fight like that person wanted to hear that. Let me see. We have goals. See, I told you somebody is focused on their goals. Could be you two, could be both you guys. Wanting what someone else has. What you are trying to attain. Okay? So, this person could just maybe want the same things as you. Maybe they just want more out of life. This could be you with your goals. Yeah. Maybe this is you too, Cancer. Because this can be you like, you know what? Like, I just, I'm ready for more. I want better for myself. Something like that. Okay? So, um, very emotional reading. Okay. okay. Let's see. Additional messages for cancer. Additional messages for cancer. So we have thief, rob, lost, thief, physical or emotional. So some of you guys, they could have taken some money from you or took the money from somebody. For some of you guys, they could have been caught up in scams and gift cards and all type of shit. Just doing dumb stuff because there's money and stuff coming out the bag. Or they could have just been scheming with somebody. Or you can find this person has robbed you physically or emotionally. Okay? Let me get a little bit shuffling here, y'all. Because I feel like I'm keeping the same cards even though I'm shuffling. Let's see. We have caught a case. So they could have caught some type of case. We have fake account. All right. So somebody, they could have a fake account and be watching you guys. We have child neglect. Didn't I tell you guys that? Bad parents and scared of our hate their parents. So this can be somebody that just went through, uh, like, had bad parents growing up. That's what I was saying. I've I, I seen that from the beginning. You know, so somebody just, they felt neglected or they just went through a lot as a child. So they have, like, abandonment issues, you know. Let's see what else we got. We have travel. And then we have carless. So some of you guys can be traveling. We have carless. No car repo, car issues. Let's see. Yeah, the person that you guys are dealing with, they can be carless. And that can be why they're trying to get their money up, trying to figure out their financial situation. Or their money is just not, where, like I said, where they want it to be at. We have keeping you a secret and obsessive lover. Now, for some of you guys, I don't feel like they're keeping you a secret. I feel like they're keeping certain things secret from you. Yeah, but they're, that's what they're about, they're about to rush in and tell you. Now, there is an obsessive lover or somebody that they were dealing with. Okay, or this can just be their energy. Somebody that is just like just toxic as fuck, always doing something. Possessive, controlling, annoying, you know, always ready to fight. They act a fool when they get drunk. They clown. You don't know who they are. You can't like figure them out. Like, it's just like they got so many different ways and sides to them. That can definitely be your person, but it looks like they're ready to come out of that energy, that karmic energy. Okay, so let's pull your spirit message. I am pulling from the Seasons of the Witch Oracle book. Tell me tales of the unknown. Tell me the tales of the forbidden. All right, so we know 28 breaks down with 10. Tens are endings, which bring in new beginnings, number one. So somebody is definitely going through some type of ending here, a transformation, a transition. Okay, so let's see. So 
So with the Oracle card, it says, you have received invitations from the spirits, your ancestors and other, um, oh, sorry, and others, other worthy be beings that have been waiting for you to seek their wisdom. Access to the spirits is always available to you, but you must communicate with them in their language. They speak to you in the silence of nature and symbols in the moods that are all around you. And you may hear their whispers in the darkness of your mind. This is not an illusion, but is illuminated guidance being offered to you. Do not be afraid of the messages you see unfolding in your life are of the beings who greet you as they are here for your highest good and will protect you against all other harmful harmful beings. All you have to do is ask for their guidance and protection, and so you shall receive. Additionally, the spirits can step in to support you and wish to do so. No problem is too big or too small, and they ask that you seek their guidance regularly, okay? So your spirit team, spirit guides, your ancestors, whoever you guys believe in, they are waiting for you guys to reach out to them. They want to help you. No problem is too big or too small. They want to help and guide you. They want to take you out of a dark place. All right. They've been communicating with you. So trying to get your attention, y'all. So pay attention. They are here to help and guide you, Cancer. All right, y'all. So that is y'all real loves. Um, if it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book with me, fireintuition.com. All righty. Bye, Cancer.